Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a video for you that will change the channel, if not the entire world. One of the things that I always do on the channel, when I put something new on the table, like your Monterey Bay uh, River Otter here, um, a lot of people will ask, well, Nick, how big is it? Well, okay, here you go. Size comparison, Spydeco Delica. I have used the Delica size comparison forever, and it's a, a great tool for that, right? Because if you look across all of my various videos, you will always see that knife next to a Spydeco Delica, and you'll always get a good sense of relative size. Oh, this is a little smaller than the Delica. Great. Oh, yeah, this one here, this is the uh, concept, uh, the Cosmos here. This one's a little bit bigger than a Delica. Great. You know something, right? But a lot of people have complained. They said, you know, Nick, you're, you're a scientist, right? You, you, you believe in open standards. You believe in open everything. Why are you using something so arbitrary as a Spydeco Delica? Not that many people own a Delica, right? Especially outside the knife world. So why would you bother doing something like that? Why not use something more reasonable? Like, oh, I don't know, a $20 bill. Lots of folks know how big that is. Or a regular freaking lighter. Or even, uh, you know, if they they want to go wild, a, a, a ruler, right? Maybe with inches and centimeters on there. They want me to use something that is standard, that is internationally agreed upon, and that everybody knows what size it is. And they would contend that the Spydeco Delica is not that. And you know what? They're right. This is one of those cases where the haters are absolutely 100% correct. Rather than using something completely arbitrary, I should be using an international standard. I should be using something that everybody can get the specs of, that everybody can find, that everybody can know exactly what the size and such we're talking about is. And so, to that end, I'd like to introduce a, a brand new uh, point of comparison uh, to the channel. That is, of course, the ISO standard for Delica. So uh, what we have here is a document I've been working on for a while now. This is ISO VG10-4. Uh, It'll change to 5 if we go to the Delica 5 at some point in time, right? Um, and, uh, you know, today is the perfect day to reveal that. Uh, you know, the, 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 there's a lot of boilerplate here, right? Like you can, you know, distribute it as much as you'd like. Of course, it's an open standard. It would be gallopingly stupid to put standards behind a paywall, right? Who on earth would even think that was a good idea? <coughs> Ah, sorry, a little bit of a cough there. Um, and then, of course, your general foreword, right? And the most important part of this is that Spydeco has had nothing to do with this whatsoever. And I'm sure they're uh, going to be just as confused as you all are. But nevertheless, um, you know, we, we got our foreword here. You got your, your introduction to the standard. But then you get into the meat of it, right? Um, you know, you get your terms and your definitions, where you get your Spydeco Delica. He had def defined his C11 FPGY. It's this little guy right here, right? Uh, the trade name, uh, the Delica 4. And then, of course, this little guy right here is uh, defined as any idea, concept of Monet. But th 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 here we get to the meat of it, right? A Delica ISO standard for length is now actually defined. 181 millimeters. 0.181 meters. 0.000181 kilometers. In case you wanted to uh, measure your bigger distances, right? We got some light year measurements here. Uh, 7.12598425, inches. Uh, you got a uh, 0.106 smoot. It's a, a, kind of a lesser measure than the Delica, let's be real here, but some people find it cute. Um, we can, of course, measure it in angstrom, uh, because why, why not, right? Uh, 7125.98 thou, if you uh, if you want to get all machinist about it. And then, of course, in AU, uh, well, that's a very small number. But still, now you have the possibility to measure all sorts of things in Delicas, right? So the Spydeco PM2 is 1.610 Delicas long, right? The moon is... I'm not even going to read that number aloud. A large number of delicas away from the Earth. And of course, that number varies a little bit. You know, one hydrogen atom has a radius of 0 .00, a whole bunch of zeros, five, three delicas. And of course, the average banana, which is the other internet size comparison device, uh, is approximately 0.8419 delicas long. Uh, so yeah, that's a, uh, that, that, that's a good thing to know about. Um, so I know what you're thinking. Nick, you idiot. Uh, th th well, at least that's what the comment section usually seems to be thinking. Why on earth would you introduce a new standard for length, right? Well, to start with, it's always nice to have some, you know, decentralization, right? There's some dude somewhere with a bar of probably freaking osmium or something that's uh, held to be a meter. In case he ever drops it, dents it, he can always come over, compare it to the Delica. Boom, there you go. You got to stand it again. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful thing. But more importantly... I agree, if I were just trying to create one more standard for length, 
Well, this would be a fool's errand, right? No one would use another standard for length. When was the last time you saw something measured in smoot? Probably never, unless you're from, like, MIT or something. But nevertheless, um, if this were just another standard for length, that would be really, really dumb. But that's because, or that's why, the Delica standard is not just for length, right? So here we go. Let's go on to the Delica standard for weight. Uh, a Delica ISO standard for weight, uh, one Delica equals 68 grams, which is about accurate here. 0. 0.068 kilograms, uh, 0. 0.0068 uh, metric tons, and then long tons, uh, which is apparently a thing, although I couldn't find the length in Delicas, which is disappointing, um, 2.39 ounces. Uh, atomic mass units, it's a pretty large number. It's probably because there were a number of atoms in here, right? I'm not going to do that level of disassembly. I um, don't have any particle accelerators handy. And of course, for those of you who use stone, uh, it's a 0 0.0107082 stone. So there you go. But you can now use the Delica for weight too, right? A PM2 weighs 1.5882 Delicas. Great. This is useful. You can know that. Nick's getting chubby from all this stress. He's up to 1,600 Delicas. Yeah, it's a thing, right? Um, The Delica has a great head blade length to weight ratio at approximately 0.4 Delicas per Delica. That's true, right? It's it's pretty excellent in that regard, right? And now you know that, right? Uh, so that's that's a beautiful thing. It is also, of course, a temperature measure because uh, when I, well, was writing this up, it was about 71.19 degrees Fahrenheit. So one Delica, 71.19 degrees uh, or 21 degrees Celsius or 294 degrees Kelvin. Right, um, and so VG10 needs to be annealed at 22.49 uh, 44 delicas. You should see a doctor if your fever exceeds 1.446 delicas. And the delica in the pocket, ah, oh, that got cut off. But anyways, it it, uh, it it goes up a very small percentage of a delica generally due to your body heat. I uh, should probably fix that in the standard. Eh, moving on. But of course, you know, length, weight, temperature, great. Those are those are solid things to have standards for, but we, we need to do better, right? The Delica is not just one thing. So we, of course, have the standard for time. Uh, we have the Delica standard for time. This is a standardized uh, time measure uh, between the release in 1990. I've gone ahead to calculate that as January 1st. Um, so it's that distance between the release of the Delica, or OG, and the present moment, right? So that's equal to about 300,000 hours, um, about 15, uh, 1,200, 508 days, uh, 1,200, wow, 12,000. This is why we need a better measure. These numbers suck, right? I'd rather say one than 12,508 days. It's way better, right? Um, and of course, because this is the distance between the release of the Delica and now... It is a very dynamic measure. Uh, when I started, it was 200 seconds. Then, yeah, so that's that's a little bit potentially problematic, right? But it's still, it's a great measure. You, you can use it for anything. How old is your baby? 0.00, oh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 0.017 Delicas old, right? Who gives baby ages in months? Really, bro? Like, let's just use delicates. That's way better. Or I have wasted approximately 0.00000993 delicates on making this video. It's probably a little higher than that, actually. And then, of course, because we have four delicas during the course of one delica, this is also a measurement for frequency, right? Um, so uh, 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 given that we have four in the period of one delica, then a delica is equal to 0.00000370 hertz or cycles per second, right? Um, and then uh, that's a very small number of kilohertz. But this is a beautiful thing, right? I know what you're thinking, Nick. Why on earth would you do that? But seriously, have you tried to look at periodic data using hertz on the year scale? It hurts! Okay, that wasn't actually supposed to be a pun, but it kind of turned out that way. So we finally have a unit that is reasonable for very, very low frequencies, right? We can just use the Delica. So although the fundamental frequency in my voice is uh, about 37, that, that seems, yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty high frequency, actually. Um, but nonetheless, the Olympic Games are held with a frequency of 2.14 Delicas. That's, uh, that's really useful. That's a way better number than like point oh 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 whatever hertz, right? Man, the wireless is so much better since you enabled the 1.351 times 10 to the 18 Delica band, right? Uh, 5 gigahertz? No, this is way better. Come on, people. 
Um, and of course, if there's a Delica 5, it's going to get a little problematic. But still, now we have a reasonable measure for long, dura long period frequency, right? Finally, it's, it's there. It's available to us. And it all comes from your Spydeco Delica. And of course, we can always derive other measures from it, right? We can use Delicas per Delica for speed, or Delica squared, Delica cubed for area and volume, or Delicas per Delica squared if you want to do pressure, right? That would be absolutely wonderful, right? Uh, you know, uh, then we just need to define a measure of force, which I didn't have a scale that was good enough for, but like, Come on, that's, that's, that's way better than Pascal, right? Come on, people. So anyways, finally, 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 we have one measure that can do it all, right? We have length, we have weight, we have temperature, we have time, we have frequency, and we have all the other derived measures from there, right? If somebody's got a really good multimeter, we can get electric resistance, right? That'd be cool, right? Um... There's no place like home. Anyways, I, I digress. You can do any kinds of things you'd like, but right now, standard here gives us a whole bunch of new things to do. And finally, the Spydeco Delica is a standard unit. Finally, this is a measure that we can use, not just in the length domain, but anywhere we'd like. Beautiful. And finally, finally, America has a measurement standard that makes sense. Come on, people. I know we're not going metric for some reason, but can we at least go delicate? <laughs> Come on. Anyways, there you go. So finally, we have a good measurement system for the channel and perhaps for the world. Anyways, I hope this has been interesting to you. If you're interested in a copy of Isodelica, you can, of course, get it from my website. And uh, most of all, oh, by the way, size comparison with the standard Spydeco Delica. Hope this has been very interesting and that you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your April 1st. Bye now.